Okay, I've been called to this job this morning to troubleshoot this three-way bridge. Basically, the owner has tried two of the door contact open-close uh, micro-switch circuit uh, that you can see here, and he's still getting an issue where every two minutes it starts beeping, uh, saying that the door is open. Uh, so just to show you the issue, so this is the new board that's been installed in the door open close detection mechanism so let's fire it up and I'll show you the issue okay plug in this board okay and what I'll do is I'll simulate the door being closed okay so I'll press the micro switch in now, in, as far as the, com, uh, the fridge's computer thinks that the door's closed, so it should be fine, but you'll notice in about two minutes, it'll start beeping, uh, and that fault code relates to the door being uh, detected as open. Okay, so you can see that it's beeping, saying that the door is open when clearly it's closed. Okay, so let's investigate the issue a bit further now. Okay, so you can see that there's four wires on the connector interface. So the negative or the ground is the brown one here. So if I get my multimeter negative on that, and then the positive is the white one which is up here and you can see I'm measuring about 10 volts. So basically how this works is when the micro switch is in its closed position, current flows through the LEDs and back through the, to the computer and the computer detects that current flow as the door being open. And when I press the micro switch in, it should break that circuit, which the computer will see no current and think that the door is closed and then not sound the alarm. So what we should see between these uh, middle two pins and ground is when the switch is closed, we should see zero volts. And when we flick, flick it to uh, open circuit, which is in, we should see 10, but we're seeing about 5.6. So that is very interesting. So once again, zero and 5.6. So let's do some further investigation with the connector removed. Another interesting thing that is most likely due to the fault to note is that when I'm pushing the micro switch in to basically open circuit um, the board, you can see that those LEDs are still on a tiny bit. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick DC check of the board with the micro switch, just to see that we're getting uh, zero ohms when the switch is closed and open circuit when the switch is open. So right now the switch is closed and we should see zero ohms, which we do. And then if I open the switch, we get open circuit. So that's good. So open circuit, zero ohms, open circuit. So that board appears to be okay. Okay, now let's do a DC check between the connector pins of the ground and the switched wire uh, which we'd expect to be open circuit uh, because it's just uh, through two neighboring connector pins so what i'm actually getting is about 400 or so killer ohms um, so that implies a bit of leakage between the two terminals. So um, I'm gonna take the connector off, check it again, and then we'll try directly soldering it to the board. So I don't have the proper connector, I'll have to order one. And we'll see if that fixes the issue. Okay, so with the connector removed, let's do a DC check. So we'll just go between the positive and the switched 
and that is open circuit which you'd expect between two neighbouring pins of the connector and let's do the ground and the switched I'm getting about 500k so it's about what I saw before so there might be some kind of moisture or corrosion inside that connector so, so let's hardwire the circuit board um, to the wires and then see if the fault has been fixed. Okay, so we've got the connector wires hard soldered to the micro switch PCB. Uh, let's fire the fridge up and see if we've fixed the issue. Okay, just a sanity check. So door open, door closed, door open, door closed. And you can see that we don't have the LEDs uh, faintly lit, which is great. So let's simulate the door closed and start the timer. Okay, we're coming up the two minute mark. Uh, it's actually a little bit over two minutes, the interval for the beeping, it's about 2.20. So if we get to 2.30 and we don't hear any audible beeping, uh, it's problem solved. Um, so hopefully that's the case. So, so far so good, no beeping. So we're at about 2 minutes 30 seconds and I haven't heard any audible beeps so I would say that's problem solved. So just one last check, I've had the door open for a bit over 2 minutes so I'm just going to check that uh, simulating the door shut actually shuts off the alarm and you can see it does.